How did you become interested in doing the play, Children of a Lesser God? After three years of working um, with two students at EC Glass who are deaf, um, I started thinking about ways to get more involved and more of a connection with one in particular who had been in my classes since her second semester freshman year and then she had taken another drama class uh, the first semester, but more ways to make that connection and get involved and it was always a challenge working with her in class and so I started thinking about things and I realized that there was a play that I had seen and I would seen the movie of it in my life that would be an interesting challenge and so I started looking into that and after asking some questions, decided that Children of Lesser God would be a great play to do. And so we were doing it. Awesome. Thanks. Why did you decide to go with shadow interpreting instead of uh, two interpreters placed off to the side of the stage? We decided to go with shadow interpreting um, pretty much the minute, over the last six years we've had interpreters for all of our shows. And one of the main problems is that it's always problematic because the audience, the deaf audience, is looking back and forth and not really enjoying the show for what it is. Um, and I had never heard of shadow interpreting, and one of the interpreters who does our shows uh, found this website and brought the information to me and said, look at this, isn't this interesting? And I went, absolutely it's interesting because this actually touches on the fact that as a director, I'm much more interested in movement than some because I come from a dance and choreography background. And we started looking into the way it was done and we really started talking about it and bringing the interpreters into the play became an incredibly exciting idea for me and then we just went for it and decided shadow interpreting was the way to go. And it's the state of the art, and it's where the future is in interpreting, so. Wow. How has this impacted your work as a director on this project? It has impacted my work, mainly in that, in the movement end of it. The main thing that we start off with after we analyze the script and everything is we go in and we start doing the blocking, which is the movement. It's where the people go on set and this has created a, an interesting thing because in shadow interpreting they call it layering. You do the blocking and you set the scene and then you layer on the shadows which is really just it's a second and third level of blocking for me as a director so it's all making this this movement this, this dance among non-dancers work and tell the story and not become something that's distracting or confusing because there's other people on the stage that aren't necessarily an individual character but they're really part of one character who's also a person on that stage. So that's how it's affected me. I've had to think of it in a totally new way and this three process blocking and movement thing has been exciting and I think everyone's going to love it. Awesome. And